Now you're ready for your patient. The first test you'll usually perform is Euroflow. Be sure to place the beaker properly under the funnel. On your laptop, click on the Next button, which is Euroflow. You can also choose this by clicking on the letter U on your keyboard. If the beaker is placed properly under the funnel, you'll see that at the top of the screen it says Auto Recording. The patient then is able to void at any time, and the Euroflow will be recorded from start to finish. Ideally, you want to leave the room so that the patient can void in private. Once the patient has finished voiding, the Euroflow will record for an additional 50 seconds after there is no change in activity in the study, in case the patient starts to void some more. Once the test has stopped, a window will pop up prompting you to record the post-void residual. This is where you'll document the residual volume once known. Next, click the Save button. Then you'll be given the option to print the report, or you can simply wait and print everything once the full study is complete. The next test will be the CMG pressure flow test, which is pulled up by clicking on this button. Before starting, it's important to know what each channel on this test represents. The PVES channel represents the pressure inside the bladder. The PAB channel represents the abdominal pressure. The PDET channel represents the subtracted pressure of PVES minus PAB. EMG represents the electromyography patches placed near the rectum. Flow represents the flow pattern of the void, and volume is the amount voided. There's a separate digital box that shows both the rate infused as well as the amount of fluid that has been infused by the pump. Now we are ready for the CMG pressure flow test. Once the patient has completed the Euroflow portion of the testing, it's a good idea to instruct the patient to undress from the waist down and move over to the exam table in the room if they had just voided on a commode. You'll want to ensure that you swap out the beaker under the funnel so that the beaker is now empty and again positioned properly. It's now important to make sure that you prepare the patient for the filling phase of the test. First, drain the bladder with a standard straight catheter, noting the volume as post-void residual. Place the vesicle catheter 12 to 15 centimeters in females or 22 to 25 centimeters in males. Place the abdominal catheter 12 to 15 centimeters rectally or some clinics choose to place this vaginally. Secure both catheters with tape as close to insertion as possible. Place the two active EMG patches perianally at about 10 and 3 o'clock. Place the ground EMG patch on the patient's thigh or a bony prominence. The patient should be in an upright position. Select the CMG PF study. Then, connect the catheters to the proper color transducers, making sure that they are in the open position prior to connecting. Attach the pump tubing to the fill port of the vesicle catheter. Be sure all connections are tight and secure. You'll then click on Zero All or press the letter Z while the transducers are still in the open position. And then switch all transducers to the charge position. Next, you'll want to observe the PVES and PABD channels. They should be between 5 and 45 centimeters of water and plus or minus 5 of each other. If they are not, it's very important to check that either catheter has not slipped out of position and adjust them accordingly. You'll then hit Run and ask the patient to cough. Could you give me a gentle cough, please? <coughs> Both catheters should respond equally with the PDET channel remaining relatively flat, like this example here. If both pressures respond well, but the PDET is slightly negative, you may choose to click the PABD equals PVES button. 
Now, begin filling the bladder by clicking the Start Pump button. Confirm that the fluid is infusing freely by looking at the chamber on the IV tubing. You'll explain to the patient that you want them to tell you when they have their first sensation. First sensation. First sensation is when the patient has the first sensation that they could empty their bladder. First desire to void. First desire is when the patient would go to the bathroom if it were readily available. Strong desire is when the patient should empty their bladder due to increased sensation to do so. Capacity, Capacity is when they no longer can hold any more in their bladder. Once the patient has reached a capacity of about 150 cc's, you will hit stop pump. You will hit the stress test button and ask the patient to perform a series of three coughs. Okay, a little cough. <coughs> Great, a little harder. <coughs> and now really hard. <coughs> Great. Once you've finished, you will hit stress test again. If stress leak was not marked, it will ask you if there was a leak. By saying yes, it will mark a leak on the biggest spike during that test. You can do the same and ask the patient to bear down. Don't let the air out. Deep breath in. Hold your breath and push. Bear down. Stronger, stronger, this stronger. This is called stronger. a Valsalva Great. leak point test. The software will again ask you if there was a leak. If you mark no, it will mark the peak pressure with a marking peak no leak. You can also do this by simply marking stress leak at the point when you see a leak, if there was one during the stress test. After testing for a leak point pressure, you will continue the test by hitting start pump and may stop the pump every 100 milliliters of fluid or so until you are comfortable that you have captured a good example of the patient having a stress leak, if appropriate. You may want to get the patient to stand up if it's difficult to evoke a leak while they're sitting. Once the patient has reached capacity, you will hit capacity. stop pump and then permit to void. At this point, you'll want to make sure that the patient is sitting comfortably on the chair or commode over the beaker with the catheters and EMG patches still properly in place. Okay. Now I'm going to step out of the room and I want you to... If it's safe to do so, you may leave the room to allow privacy. The graph will record the pressures as well as the flow and voided volume. When voiding is complete, press stop. With the test now completed, remove the catheters and EMG patches. Disconnect them from the recording devices and dispose of these supplies. To print your report, click the Reporter button and agree to save the test when prompted. Choose your preferred report format from the drop-down menu. There are different styles depending on the preference of the physician. Make any notes or additions to the report by using the boxes on the left of the screen. These include places to type history of the patient and impressions from the study. Click the printer icon to print. You can choose to print to your local printer or as a PDF for electronic transfer of the report. Please refer to the owner's manual for greater detail on choosing different report styles or printer setup.